Hello, this is a video tutorial for Maeda Senefex. I will show you how to do the fatigue analysis in the analysis mode of Maeda Senefex. For that, I will use this shell element model and I will show you how to uh, apply the fatigue load on it. So let's go into NFX, uh, verify that you are in the announced mode and open the model uh, on which you want to perform the analysis. So this is the connection model. Uh, some loads and boundary condition are already assigned to this model. So you can verify it by clicking uh, on them in the work tree. So it has been fixed on this boundary. Uh, a pressure load has been applied on this uh, on these places and the gravity load also. So first thing I will do is I will just do a linear static analysis. So right click linear static and you can edit to verify that your mesh and everything is assigned to your model and just solve. Okay, now by clicking on each result, you can view the total displacement, the shells for the stress and the safety factor. Uh, now to create the fatigue analysis, it's very simple. Just right click on your analysis case and click on insert fatigue analysis result. Now in this window, you will be able to choose all the options to make the fatigue analysis. So you can choose essence curve using load history. You have to choose the analysis set you will be using. Uh, for the stress type, you can use sign for misses and you can choose average, maximum or minimum value. You have the quick counting option that we will not use here. Um, after that, click on property to define the property. Use the material you already define in software. If the tensile stress is not defined, you have to modify the value inside the material properties. Now we will use uh, the direct input method. So uh, let's enter an endurance limit of 50 and single cycles at endurance of 1 million. And let's just click on add and close. Now for the mean stress correction, you have uh, no mean stress correction, good man uh, and jabber. Let's, let's like that. Output request, you have two types, the damage and the fatigue life cycle. For the fatigue load, you have to click on define to define your uh, fatigue load function. For that, click on define the fatigue load function. And here, you can define your curve. So I will create a sinus curve. So enter the value 0, uh, 1, 0 0.25. Uh, 2, 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.75, uh, 0, and 1, 1. Now click on OK. And here you have to choose the curve you just created, sinus. You can define a concentration factor also. Click on OK. Select the number of load cycle you want to do, so just one is OK, and infinite life. And after that, just click on OK and solve to run the analysis. Now you see in only three seconds, you have your results. So you can click on the fatigue life cycle without any correction and see uh, it on your model. If you do it with the Goodman correction, you will see it's a bit different. And Gerbo correction also. Uh, for the fatigue damage, you see without any correction, you have some fatigue which appear at this position in your model. 
with the Goodman correction, you have almost no fatigue damage. And with the Gerber correction, you also have uh, here. Okay, that was all for this uh, fatigue analysis on this two-shell model. Thank you very much for watching.